could Jill Roberts from Scream 4 still be alive? That's the theory we're going to be talking about today. I'm Pamela, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into it, please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future theories like this one. And please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's get into it. So did Jill Roberts survive the events of Scream 4? This is one of my most requested videos from you guys, and I've never really done a video on it before because I don't necessarily believe this theory, if I'm being honest, but it is still fun to talk about and speculate. And I mean, she didn't get shot in the head, so it's always possible. This franchise constantly emphasizes in every single movie that you need to shoot them in the head or they can always come back. Always gotta shoot him in the head. So is it possible that she survived? Sure. So I believe that this was actually the original plan for Scream 4 back in 2011. Wes Craven had this vision of Jill surviving at the end of Scream 4, Sydney losing her memory so she would forget that Jill was Ghostface, and Scream 5 would have followed Jill going to college and a new Ghostface knowing her secret. This would have been if they continued the franchise way back when, you know, in 2012. And I would have absolutely loved that. It's a shame that we didn't get this version of Scream 5 over a decade ago. Scream 4 was not very successful at the box office, so they just never continued. And then, of course, sadly, Wes Craven passed. So all of that just stopped this from happening. So like I said, Jill does not get shot in the head, so it's always possible that she could still be alive. And let's not forget that Jill's brain got fried. Sydney fried her brain with a defibrillator, and Jill got up again. That is not what killed her. She got up again after that happened, and then Sydney shoots her in the chest. And I would just like to point out that Jill surviving getting her brain fried definitely means that Stu could survive getting electrocuted. If you're new here, I am a Stu believer. I 100% believe Stu is alive and will return in Scream 7. And a lot of people who are not Stu believers constantly say in the comments, there's no way he's alive. He got electrocuted. Like his brain got electrocuted. Um, hello, Jill in Scream 4 got her brain fried and she went on living until she got shot. And if we look at some of the things that these newer characters in the new Scream movies survive, Jill could definitely have survived. Chad has gotten stabbed like 30 plus times between Scream 5 and Scream 6. And pretty much everyone in Scream 6 survived all of their injuries. Gail survived. Mindy survived the apartment attack and the subway attack and just goes running off like it's nothing. And also in the final act of Scream 6, Tara gets stabbed a few times and shot in the arm. And, you know, she just is walking like she's fine. Like it's, she's not even phased. Now, I personally think that these new movies are having characters survive crazy injuries to make it more believable that Stu could have survived what he did. Sometimes people in the comments are like, Stu got stabbed four times before he got electrocuted. That's nothing compared to what characters survive in the newer movies. So the fact that everyone survives crazy injuries in the new movies, Jill could very well have survived the events of Scream 4. But this brings up the question, where has she been this whole time? I mean, I have done a video pretty recently in the past where I asked you guys, was Jill in Stu's cult in Scream 4? Were Jill and Charlie a part of Stu's cult? So let's say Jill is still alive today. Maybe she's off in hiding with Stu. I mean, Emma Roberts has said herself that she feels like her story was not done in the Scream franchise. If you got to be in another horror franchise, which one would you pick? You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'd go back to Scream. I, I feel like, I feel like I, I wasn't done with Scream. Uh-huh, well, uh, that's interesting. I like to hear that. Now, I really did think that we might have seen Jill in Scream 6 in the form of a flashback at least, or 
maybe some old footage because we know that Charlie was recording all of the kills. So maybe he had the body cam on him and maybe after he's finished with the kill, you know, Jill walks in to talk to him. And then I thought maybe Kirby as an FBI agent would maybe be reviewing some old evidence. So that would have been fun if we saw Kirby watching some old footage. You know, the same way that she kind of looks at Jill's flannel in the shrine and has that look on her face. We could have seen her watching some old footage. So I think that would have been a fun way to see Emma Roberts again. But who knows, maybe now with Kirby back in the mix, maybe they'll want to bring back Jill. I honestly would like that. At this point, like, we got to do something mind-blowing and different. Every single screen movie, the formula is the same. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. And this is why I definitely want Stu to return because it's something different and shocking. Now, I don't want Jill to come back if it means that we don't get Stu <laughs> because they might not want to do two ghost faces returning. And I could understand why because that just might be too much. I personally would like it if both Stu and Jill came back because imagine they introduce Stu and you're watching it in the theater and your mind is blown, but then they don't stop there. They also bring back Jill. I would like to see that. I know that a lot of people say stuff like that is too goofy and it's too crazy and it wouldn't make any sense. And I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, it's like, we're going to be on the seventh movie. Do you really want more of the same? Do you really want another new ghost face that we don't really care that much about? I mean, I'm sorry, but with the reveal in Scream 6, I just didn't care that much. I didn't care about Ethan at all, didn't really care about Quinn at all, and same goes for Detective Bailey. We have done the same thing for six movies. Let's really change it up. And that's what these horror movies do in general. Like, the killer always comes back. Matthew Lillard has said that himself. But whenever he comes back somewhere in the future, because that's what happens in horror movies all the time, they bring the killers back. And Amber even says in Scream 5, that's the problem with the stab movies. No bad guy to keep coming back. You know what the biggest problem with the stab movies is? There's no Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees. No bad guy to keep coming back. That is what horror movies do. So it's time that we do something big. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future posts. And please also go follow me over on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video.